back with another video for y'all today so right now we got a little bad news uh for those who've been watching you know saw that on my last vlog uh, about the van situation when i took the van to uh to get fixed after i got the van back this morning it started smoking on me and uh antifreeze coolant was everywhere so as you guys can see let me sh it kind of dried up but it was coming from here it was all on the spark plugs and everything you know what i'm saying that's all water because it just rained but it was everywhere man like literally it was crazy it wasn't overheating or nothing like that but it was definitely smoking a lot of smoke i'm assuming from the antifreeze the coolant being on the, the hot engine or whatever but right now i'm about to uh get it towed back to the to the uh, mechanic they gotta fix it and figure out what's going on because after they kept it for a whole week when they wasn't supposed to um that's how it came back so i don't know what's going on but uh you know what I'm saying? It is what it is at the end of the day. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And uh, it's not another run around where I got to be there for like the whole week again or whatever. Or be without my van. Because I was just uh, starting to plan on, you know, doing a couple of things, man. For you guys. Like I was about to go do um, camping and all that stuff. Like I said in my last vlog. I was just about to upload a video for y'all too. And um, I had to stop because uh, they said the tow truck is about to pull up in a little bit. So, and the thing is, I don't want to do nothing to the van. Like, I don't want to, they told me to drive to the mechanic. I was not doing that. I told them to come pick it up because I want it to be exactly how it is, how it was when they left, when they left their shop. I didn't go under there and touch nothing or nothing like that. I didn't add no water or nothing to nothing. You know what I'm saying so I don't know but I'm a Bible said life and death is in the power of the tongue so I'm gonna speak life and positivity all praises to the most high everything goes through smoothly I'm not even gonna stress it um, I'm gonna let the most high take care of that I did my part which is organize everything so they could uh, see what the problem is and uh, the most high gonna do the rest which is stuff that's out of my control all right so yeah man damn bro i was so in the middle of getting this video up man i hope they got wi-fi at the shop because i'm gonna try to get it done over there if not i gotta wait till tomorrow eventually i, I gotta get some uh some some wireless internet where i could use it wherever i go but i gotta google some of them though because um I don't know of too much or any good ones. So, I'm going to see. But when I go to the campgrounds and stuff, I won't... You know, I'm not about to go back and forth to the library. So, uh, I'm going to need that. My boys, my boy and them chilling out here. Boy, it just rained. They got water. Vibing. Catching a vibe out here. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, man, that's about it for now, man. A little update for y'all on what's going down. This, well, it happened this morning, and I'm just getting them to come pick it up and stuff right now, and uh, organizing everything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know what go down. I'm really hoping, because <laughs> remember I told you guys that the customer who was who was upset about his car and uh when he took it to them and it came back worse than how it was and that was kind of before they was done with my van so i was kind of skeptical a little you know thinking about it and now look what happened it's not done it's not done you know they had all the time they they needed they said they want they need they they needed uh they ended up taking a whole week still not done you know what i'm saying like how would it be how would it you know what i'm saying would it look for me to go and do certain road trips or something and i can't do it because this is the type of stuff I'm, i gotta deal with you know but 
Yeah, man, we'll see. Let's see what goes down, man. This dude got somebody in there with him. That's one thing I hate about these companies. It's like they don't communicate with each other. The last time it was the same thing with the driver. I had to let him know what's going on. All kinds of shit. What's up, bro? Hey, they told you I was driving, rolling with the driver, right? Okay, yeah, poquito English. Un moment, un moment, no problem. Did they tell you I was supposed to ride with the driver? Yeah? Sí, okay. 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 Well, he got it, right? He gonna hook it up? Okay, cool. Ah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> name, name is like, okay? Okay, okay. okay. gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha. was like literally real close to where I was I could have drove here but then I didn't want to take the chance because if it got worse um they would they was already talking about uh um you know whose fault it is and all that extra stuff so I wasn't trying to hear none of that so I just did it the right way or whatever running some errands uh, today they're supposed to start well they said they started on my van today but uh, ever since you know the the amount of lies and whatnot they've been telling telling me uh, from the time they told me about it's gonna be done in one day and then it went to like a whole week so I'm not even sticking to what they say I'm just going with the flow you know and trusting the most high so they said they started on it today uh, So we're gonna see In the meantime, I'm just running some errands with my gramps uh, I gotta run to CVS Do some business CVS or, or Walgreens One or the other And while I'm out here, I'll probably grab something to eat Cause uh, I ain't got my van so I can't cook Or do nothing, I really wanted to cook man. I ain't gonna lie, I miss cooking bro Like I really miss cooking Like I like to know what I'm what I'm putting in my body, you know what I'm saying? As I get older too, I really, really like that, you know what I mean? Even though I don't eat out a lot at all, um, I really like to know what I'm putting in my body. So like at times like this, I really miss my van, like no lie, no lie. But who knows, man, the way things work, the way how the most high God work, that's that's what I should say. Because at the, at the end of the day, we don't know why things happen sometimes or when it's going to happen and all these things. So, you know, in a different mindset and at another time, you know, if I was less experienced, when I was less experienced, I would be stressed out. I would think the worst. You know, I would be, I wouldn't be on this type of, level vibration etc right but i've experienced life now you know at the age i'm at when it comes to being holy like the most high and understanding how things work how life works what's in what what matters what doesn't you know what i'm saying standing on the word all right because he said don't worry right so i can't say i trust the most high one minute and then i'm stressing when things go down like right? for this for example right 
So I'm not worrying about nothing. Who knows what could come out of this? Who knows what he got for me? That's just how it works. He tests you. Because you say you believe in him. You say you stand on his word. So he tests you. What would it be like for me to stress out now and trip out? You know what I mean? He won't take me to the next level because I'm not ready yet. You know what I'm saying? I didn't believe like I said I was. You know, So if you see me happen to get blessed with something with more space, you know, more more reliable, better, etc. You know, and I don't even got to deal with this no more. That's a perfect example to show you how the Most High works. You know, regardless of how it turns out, it's always he always got it under control, man. At the end of the day, he just trying to he just trying to basically let you see that he knows your heart. He knows you inside and out. He knew you before you was in your mother's womb. All right, so you can't play with him at all. You know. Whereas it, when it comes to being truth, truthfully into uh, believing in Him, truthfully uh, having faith in Him, you know, if you're that, if you believe in the Most High, um, He knows you, so you can't fool Him, you can't play with Him. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see how it works, you know, how it goes down, you know. But at the end of the day, uh, life still goes on. You still gotta get this work. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what we doing. Ain't gonna stop nothing. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime, I'm organizing my new uh, adventures coming up. My new trips coming up. You know, I got a trip coming up that uh, I can't wait for. It's gonna be lit. But I'm gonna be backpacking though. That trip is gonna be a backpacking trip. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, I'm gonna add my um, road trips. I'm gonna organize and see my road trips are more it's different from the backpacking is more I feel like it's more it's something that I need to obviously um, take time plan out organize because it's not like a bag backpacking trip all you got to do with, with a backpacking trip is pack your bags and um, basically majority of it majority of it is uh, get a ticket or something which is already basically in the system online you know you get a ticket you pull up you get the whatever you know what I'm saying because when it comes to traveling backpacking I've done that many times you know what I mean train plane only thing I haven't done was a with a was a boat did bus did it did it all I did it all and that was when I was 14 15 you know what I mean so that was a long time ago but um when it comes to the road trips, it's different. You know, it's a long trip. So it's like, and if I plan on going state to state, which I do, um, I gotta make sure my van's reliable, make sure everything's checked, all the fuels and stuff is in order. I'm about to um, pick up my van. I'm just waiting for that Uber to come right now. They said it's finished, so we're about to see what's up. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all know when I when I when that time comes or whatever. But uh, they said like seven minutes, so hopefully it's uh, close by, cause I think the shop closed at like six. So yeah, and I want to cook something too, so I don't know what I'm gonna make. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I got time, but. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly, man. No lie, hopefully everything goes smoothly because it's the second week. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Only God knows, bro, to be real. Only God knows. <laughs> Just picked it up. About to make sure everything good with it. Because you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? can't trust these people now now that i know what's really good i'm gonna lift the hood up and see what's going on with the hood and shit because man been back and forth with these people man it's crazy y'all better be careful when you take uh your, your your vehicle to certain shops especially if you're a woman or an older person who don't really you know what i'm saying and the thing is some of these people they only know how to, how to. They only know how to answer to you when when they uh 
when you get aggressive because sometimes you you nice and they taking you for a game for a joke you know what i'm saying so you kind of got to get aggressive sometimes with them because that's the only language they kind of seem to understand so right now i'm checking everything out i'm about to take it on the highway let me see the back look similar to how i had it i got some stuff rotting in the back there She, how she driving, how she feeling. You know what I'm saying? I gotta clean this thing out, boy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go straight to the, the, the storage and just clean this out. While I'm, cause I'm gonna be passing by the storage, so I'm gonna just go clean it out. I tell you, boy, it's so crazy when uh, I go up in there and you know, I face them and you can see they give you that that fake ass type of vibe that skimmy type of vibe like they you know barely want to look you in the face and they telling you all kinds of extra stuff that you don't even need to know and it's crazy bro it's crazy it's crazy but it's all good again you know like i said the last time and like i always say you know all praises to the most high i'm gonna trust them so it is what it is at the end of the day who ain't uh, doing what they, you know, supposed to do, etc., etc. But basically, when it comes to being righteous, everybody got an answer. So I ain't worried about nothing, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the right thing, and like I've been doing and strive to do that. And he gonna take care of the rest. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. Yeah, we gonna go to the storage and uh, I'm gonna go vacuum and clean out because I gotta clean this out. Then I'm gonna probably go cook. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get there. Plus it's like traffic. A lot of traffic out here. So um, let me focus on this road and um, I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the storage. All right. <laughs> started changing so I decided not to go uh, to the storage to clean the van out because I got it I want to really deep clean the van uh, all especially where I um, where I cook at it has like certain spots where when when the oil splashes and stuff so I want to wipe everything down get all the dust everywhere you know what I'm saying like a real deep uh, clean and I want to vacuum and everything like that so I'll do it probably tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, let me see. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll probably do it tomorrow. And also... But yeah, for now, I'm just going to get something to eat. Because I ain't eat all day. And um, well, I haven't ate a solid meal all day at all. <laughs> well, I ate, I think this morning was some garbanzo beans like the fried uh, garbanzo beans I showed y'all in one of my vlogs uh, that was early this morning I don't think I ate anything yeah I, don't, I didn't eat after that so I'm gonna go I feel like I want to make something quick and easy so I'm gonna just make something um, probably some chicken wraps I, I think as of right now because I don't want to really go in to like cooking and all that right now I ain't gonna lie I don't really feel like it so I'm gonna just make some quick wraps Unless I think about something else by the time I get there. 
I actually never made sausage wraps before, but uh, I still gotta cook the sausage and I don't feel like that doing that. So I guess I'll go with what I see. If I see there's rotisserie chicken, I'll make some chicken wraps. If there's none, like the last time I went, then I'll make some uh, sausage wraps. That'll be for the first time. I never made those, so yeah. So just got back from the store. They had one chicken left, but it wasn't really, it didn't look too good to me, so I didn't get it. I got the sausage instead, and I got a, let me give y'all a little grocery haul, nothing crazy, but I'm gonna make some, I got some pita bread. I never, I don't think I ever had pita bread before. So I'm gonna make, I got four pieces in here, so I'm gonna make four, basically, pita bread wraps, you know what I'm saying? Slash tacos, whatever it may be. Sausage, all right, so I'm gonna fry up the sausage and stuff, and I'm gonna wrap them in this, like I said, and I'm gonna tear them up. I got some, what I got to put in it, I got some, uh, what I got, a garlic, but that's to cook it. I got some green onions, always, this is like a, a must, always. Um, I got some key limes for sure. I got some garbanzo beans, but I don't think I'm gonna put that in there. That's probably for something else, maybe for a salad. I got the sausage, boom. Um, what else I got, what else? Actually, that don't go there. Uh, I got some cilantro for sure. Need that. Need that. When I tell you that's like one of the top seasonings to use in food, that's a must. I got some uh, cherry tomatoes for sure. Gotta gotta have that. All right. <clears throat> Let me put some a trash can right here. So. Now, hopefully, I could plan for my uh, my camp uh, trip. I'm trying to do like four days or four nights. No, no, probably like three nights, four days. Got my basil. This is another top ingredient, seasoning you want to use. And I'll tell you flavor. Flavor. But. I mean. And got to have my avocados. This is a must. Not this one though, I just get this one just cause this is all they have. All right, but that's GMO right there. The bigger ones is the ones you need, you, you wanna get, all right? So that's about it. Now it's time to organize everything. Now, I haven't cooked for a couple of days, so I gotta clean my pans out and stuff like that, wipe it out. And it's not too, too hot out here, but it's, it's kinda kind of hot you know what I'm saying but I'm gonna get this cracking I'm gonna get back with y'all when I get everything organized <laughs> Got my basil, my tomatoes, and some key limes, key lime water. Um, my cilantro over here. Actually, let me do them separate because that's a whole lot of mess. And I got my uh, green onions over here. I 
leave the uh, tomatoes to soak there a little longer because that goes in kind of like last in the pot. So I let that just soak up in there as much as possible. I gotta get me a new cutting board because this one is real dirty. I gotta remember not to get plastic anymore because plastic just gets uh, pieces of it start coming out. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of pieces start coming out. It makes marks in the in the thing. So I, that's why I put some foil on here. Plus, I gotta find something. If you guys know of anything I could use to basically put all my dishes and stuff in, and my cooking stuff that I have over there in the uh, milk carton. Uh, that'll be appreciated. Please put it in the comment section because I don't want the roaches running through my stuff. It's annoying. Like, it's really annoying. And I gotta clean it up every time. No, it's annoying. Alright guys, so right now I'm about to um, heat up the pot. Put the garlic in there, boom, boom, boom. And uh, I got my basil, my cilantro, my green onions here. That's what I'm gonna put in it right now. And um, I'm gonna fry up this uh, sausage and put it with my pita bread. I think I'm gonna put some uh, ranch in there and definitely some avocado. I never had ranch with the with the sausage before, but we're going to see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be good, though. So right here you, you when you make the sausage basically to do anything with the sausage no matter how you're gonna eat it you always want to fry it up for a little bit and let all the juices come out of it all the natural oils in the sausage come out too so that way when you put the uh, seasoning and stuff um, it'll soak into it you know all the flavor will go into each other you know what I'm saying And I tell you, this thing tastes good, man. Well, I wouldn't be making it so much and doing different meals with it if I didn't, you know, if it wasn't good, so. So I'm gonna let that just saute a little bit, fry up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the seasonings up in it. And after you're done putting the seasoning in here, you just mix it up for a little bit, let that thing do its thing. And then, as it gets a little, as it starts cooking a little more, then you wanna add your tomatoes, all right? Cut the tomatoes in two, like cut it in half, 
so the juices start coming out and more flavor so as you can see i put my tomatoes in there now i'm about to put my salt <coughs> sea salt to be specific then you mix it up again and then you just cover it down with some um with with a with a foil paper or you know a cover or something and also some black pepper and you could add some cayenne pepper in there too if you want you know what i'm saying and that's a wrap man got yourself a meal man you can make any you could put it with rice spaghetti as you can see now i'm about to put it with pita bread and make a little you know a little taco a little wrap you know what i'm saying i'm about to make my first two uh pita roll wraps i mean pita bread wraps Hopefully they all could fit in my um, my bowl. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. I like the uh, the texture of the pita roll. Like I really do. It's like I really hate when my taco wraps like isn't um, firm and it's breaking up and stuff. I don't like that. So the pita bread is really really firm. I ain't gonna lie. I love that. So let me make my first two. Got the sausage here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me get out a little, little sneak peeker. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it in. Cause my battery about to die, and I want to give you guys a taste test as well. So let me see how fast I can make this. Gotta cover this back down because them damn bugs flying in and out and it's annoying because of this bright ass light. <clears throat> Alright, so got the avocado. Let me say I gotta save some time on the on the uh, the camera so I can do a taste test for y'all because it's dying. I mean it's the memory is almost full. You want to cut up the avocado as thin as possible so that way you could add more in the wrap and when you actually close the wrap to eat it a lot a lot of stuff don't fall out of it i don't know if you care about that but i do i don't really like my stuff falling all over the place when i'm eating especially my tacos or my wraps or something like you know what i'm saying so boom that's one and get the, the avocado. I mean the the ranch. Boom. All right, guys, so before, before I finish the other uh, wraps, I'll just do a taste test for y'all right now before my camera dies. So let's get it, man, let's get it, man. What side do I want to bite? Let me bite this side. Hell yeah. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Hell yeah. Mad good, y'all. Mad good. So glad I made this. It hits the spot, like, for real, for real. I really didn't know what I wanted to make tonight and how I wanted to make it. But, damn, this hit the spot. Especially with the ranch, too. It tastes real good with the ranch. But, I'm going to finish this up. Make the other two. And I'm going to call it a night. I appreciate y'all for being here. For subscribing. Uh, for supporting. Smash the like button. Uh, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. If you guys want to support the channel, the movement, you know. Uh, go check out my wish list. The link is in the description below. And with that, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Love and respect. Peace.